to our co-op and career presenters and welcome again to the next part of the Ultimate Mac Eng Hangout. Hi everyone, my name is Dashmini and I am a third year civil engineering student. I'm happy to welcome you all back to the stage for an exciting performance. Maximilian and Theodore Awoki do everything together, including practicing the art of engineering. The brothers are classically trained cellists. They arrange, compose, and perform contemporary music on two cellos and have played together for the past 16 years. They created Versicello in 2014, are current engineering students at McMaster University, and have had many exciting opportunities in music and film. Please join me in welcoming them to the stage. Hi, what's up? So, uh, good morning, everybody. Hope you're having a good uh, event so far. We're Versicello, my name is Maximilian. I'm Theodore. We're, uh, we're brothers from, from, we're from Hamilton, Ontario. And uh, we've been going to Mac now for, uh, I started 2016. I started 2018, so. Uh, I'm, in, uh, I'm in mechanical engineering and society, the five-year program. And I'm just in uh, computer engineering, both in uh, the co-op program. We're actually both on co-op right now. Uh, maybe we'll talk about that more a little bit later. I think the idea for, for the next uh, 30 minutes here is we're just going to have a good time playing some music for you. Uh, and then interdisperse that with a little bit of, we'll tell you about our experience at McMaster, experience playing you know, cello, music, and, and all of that, and how it all ties into engineering. Uh, but I guess we're going to get started with, with the first song. Uh, hopefully, in the private chat, someone can tell us if the levels are good, and it's hard to hear us. So let's move it up a little bit. Yeah, let's yeah. Is it this one right here? Yes. Okay, we are now trying a different volume on this uh, mic, and uh, someone let us know in the private chat if that's a little bit easier to hear, because we can still turn it up. Nice. Awesome. Okay, we found love. Rihanna and Calvin Harris, please enjoy. Grab yourself a cup of coffee or tea or dance or whatever and uh, feel free to sing along. Sing along, for sure.
right. So, uh, so in case uh, people missed the uh, beginning introductions because our volume was about at half, uh, to quickly recap, I'm Maximilian. I'm Theodore. Computer Vers engineering. Uh, mechanical engineering. Versicello. And, uh, and we're, we're currently actually on, on co-op right now uh, doing, doing well myself. I'm in uh, a remote location or working remotely uh, in Toronto at a mechanical contracting company doing uh, more the project management side of things, which is really interesting. It's um, a project coordinator position at Martin Niagara. And I'm uh, also working remotely uh, in Markham at AMD doing microchip layout. Uh, so we're both kind of like in different areas. But we come together and do the music. Yeah, I think I think even for this first little bit here, let's talk a bit about how like music kind of came up, and then doing it at McMaster too. Because I think one of the big things that people would think going into say something like engineering is that it's going to take so much of your time that you have to um, you would you have to consider sacrificing some of the things you like doing on the side to uh, to kind of accommodate all the studying and the uh, exams, tests, assignments, uh, whatever. I would personally disagree with that. I don't know about you. I also would. It's and it's it goes beyond even just like music and engineering. Any sort of thing you do on the side, whether that be a d other type of art like visual art, painting, uh, singing, dancing, um, or other hobbies, even um, if you're really into even coding outside. Um, I'm just running through my hobbies. I don't. <laughs> yeah. I'm, anything else you can do, it, it sort of engages the brain in such a different way than engineering that it's. It's not like you have to make time for either. It's both give to each other. And I will say too, I'm going to do a massive shout out to the uh, Engineering Society program. Um, I'm not too sure what the uh, sort of demographics or years are uh, of who's watching right now, but the Engineering Society program, if you don't know, is a five-year program, very much like the Engineering and Management stream. Uh, you extend your degree by one year, but you add in classes. And for the Society program itself, you add in classes in ethics and inquiry and uh, and. You get to do a lot of these projects that, that you put a lot of creative thought into and can take it your own way. All of these projects, I've all, every single time, made it either music-based or videography-based. And so you have a lot of opportunities to kind of mash the two together and, and have fun doing your, your kind of side passions at the same time that you're studying. You can um, really bring yourself to the program. That's 100% true. That's, that's, that's big for McMaster Engineering. That's big for, for McMaster in general, is that you get a huge balance. Should we get another song? I in think we should uh, mix another song in. Yeah, and then kind of starts. Yeah, this is actually uh, one of our first ever arrangements. We're we playing for you, Counting Stars by One Republic. Um, hope you enjoy.
I think it'd be worth it to talk a little bit about like getting the co-op mm, and yes. stuff. Because yeah. we were uh, we were watching the uh, the panel that came just before us, and it was fantastic. And, and I think a big thing for all Mac Engine students, engineering students in general, is like where do you find the co-op? How do you kind of get connected in that? Um, I'll speak to mine first, really yeah. quickly. Uh, for my my capstone, I still have one year to to kind of get a couple of courses done because you have to come back for uh, for three or nine units uh, after your co-op to just get it all officiated. Um, and last year that I was in school, I did my capstone just to get it uh, finished. And it was uh, I was really interested in uh, getting into building design and energy systems. And so I was learning Revit on the side just for fun. Sorry, just capstone being the uh, the big final project for engineering. The final project engineering is a six unit course. It goes through two semesters, and uh, you really get to dive deep into, into a topic that you're interested in that's in your field with a group. Uh, and ours was sort of um, it was like a project management sort of bid on the mechanical renovation of the uh, University of Pennsylvania Museum, uh, which was very much in my line of interest of like looking through like building models and all that kind of stuff, um, and like building energy systems. From doing that, I had just happened to get onto uh, the uh, Mechanical Contractors Association of America, uh, Hamilton and Niagara sort of uh, chapter they have for students, uh, because that just came as part of the whole deal. And uh, we did sort of a, a side competition there that involved student schools from the, the states and from uh, Canada. And we had industry mentors help this chapter and then like from, from the region kind of go through this competition. So I had gotten to know about Modern Niagara, which is this mechanical contracting place that I'm doing my co-op now. And and honestly, without having to even go on Oscar Plus without, you know, reaching out or anything, I already had made a relationship with the uh, the vice president of the area of that company. And it, it sort of worked out that I got a 12 month position. So I think the big thing from there that my takeaway was is just do things that you're interested in, whether it's the clubs, the teams, etc. And, and naturally, you'll find connections there that'll be very, very valuable in co-op searching. Uh, for me, it was it might take a little more traditional approach. I guess you could say uh, I used a lot of uh, Oscar Plus, which is like sort of the master portal for for job searching. Um, and I mean that was great. There's a wide selection of, of jobs available at different companies, and all kind of gathered up in one spot. And you get to like upload your resume, your CV, and use it for like multiple different applications. It was great. Um, so that even happened like last year, uh, it was October, late October, early November sort of time period. It was it was a lot of looking for the co-op for this year, um, and so it was the the process of applying and uh, going to interviews and like uh, looking at jobs and that you sort of get in a rhythm and it, it all just kind of it just works. And uh, I'm really happy with what I ended up with at being at AMD. It's a, a great time, learning a lot, uh, getting to apply my uh, my knowledge I'm, I'm learning in my undergrad. Uh, it was interesting though is that even when doing the interviews for uh, a lot of these different positions I was getting, a lot of times, because uh, you get you get feedback during your interviews just to learn how to improve for the future, uh, a lot of people would be telling me that they, my resume stood out because of the stuff I was doing outside of the, the actual undergrad degree, like a lot of the, well, the movie that me and Max did. Or, we'll, we'll plug that at the, we'll very, plug, end. We'll very, at end. the very end. Um, <laughs> Or even just the fact that we're, we're also doing music on, on the side. I mean, of course, they, they looked a lot at um, what we were doing in course, uh, the qualifications there. But, yeah, it's it, it all comes together. They, they really look at you as a whole person. So. I think we uh, we move on to a little bit of uh, music. That's nice. Yeah. I, uh, I think we should be playing um, Somebody I Used to Know. Somebody Used to Know. Coach by, by Coach A. And make it a little funky. Uh, a Blast from the Past, of course.
<laughs> um, I think a quick plug on, on some clubs and teams. Oh okay, yeah, clubs and teams. Uh, at McMaster is a huge part, I think, of the whole idea of McMaster is having such a great sense of community, um, and I'm, getting to know people like in your interests, even in engineering, outside of actual academics. Because I yeah. will say, and let me know if you agree, that a large part of the experience I've taken away from university is getting to know the people that are part of these clubs. And like kind of doing those extracurriculars and being on exec teams and everything. Yeah. That sort of like fills up your time in and outside. Yeah. Um, do you want to speak on like some of the things you've done? Yeah. So a, a, a big thing being, uh, I guess maybe this might be more applicable for you because I, I did a more globally. And then even this goes across uh, department lines too. So uh, even interact with people outside of engineering. Uh, so I did Maroons, uh, which is repping for all the McMaster during Welcome Week. Um, and even beyond Welcome Week for, for in the Maroons case. In, in, in case anyone's wondering too, is like, you know like how the red suits are like wearing the red sort of overalls and you yeah. put the patches on and everything like that and the Maroons are kind of like the campus wide, you know, they go to all the sports games and they're kind of an all year round sort of. Kind of like the cheerleaders for uh, cheerleaders. Master. Absolutely. Um, uh, and yeah, so I did Maroons. I uh, met a whole bunch of great people. Even met some other engineering students. But I mean, Max also did uh, in Maroons as well for one year or two years. Um, and it's just great to get to know people outside of the academics, uh, even people you've met. Because there's people uh, from labs that I've seen before, from other classes, and just like, seeing them in different contexts. Uh, really like, builds the, the spirit together, I found. Yeah. How about a little bit of uh, Mac Makers? Oh, and also Mac Makers. Uh, so I also did Mac, Mac Makers as, your, as like an instructor and sort of like helping out with the technical side. Um, and that's just another great club. Uh, really get to apply stuff that you learn in class and it's like you'd be like using Inventor which is an auto CAD software it's a CAD software uh, by Autodesk uh, using that in a context of actually making something physical that is is not really even from a course it's just like something that you you design I think not by yourself because we're helping you out um, it's just a great engineering it, it attacks people outside of engineering too but it's a great way to get your, your feet into like engineering projects it looks great on a resume saying that you've uh, you've made a few projects out on your own time and you just hang out in like downstairs throat. And yeah, downstairs right? throat is great. It's the maker space, uh, fully kitted out uh, space for makers, and uh, it's 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 all available to students. And uh, it'd be criminal to not take advantage of that. Mm. I'm gonna rattle off rapid fire some sure. of the things that uh, I would recommend heavily if if you're looking to get involved. Uh, the McMaster Engineering Society is something that I did in first year as a first year engineering rep. 
Um, and that's super fun because you get like representatives from all different departments, all different years to actually decide how with the exec team, how are you going to lay out sort of budgets and planning activities for students and everything. Um, the uh, student representative assembly is the campus wide sort of um, elected sort of uh, student representatives and engineering has a caucus. So you can make fac or uh, you can make campus wide sort of uh, MSU decisions. Uh, red suits is something that I did in second year. That's some of the most fun that I've had at university for sure. I 100% recommend people try out. Um, I think that's everything for like clubs and stuff like that. But we also should get going to another song. Yeah. So we can fit in two, I think, if we fit in two, if we rush it. But yeah, go keep your eye out on uh, any club applications and, and events. It's uh, always a fun time. Absolutely. Uh, I think Radioactive and then, yeah. Welcome to Nogos. Can I get two more in? This one's Radioactive by Magic Dragons. That was intense. I think we have time for one more, I hope. Uh, we'll try to hit it right at 12.15, but a quick plug, I think. Oh, wait, wait, was, 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 the, was the volume all right? Just because I saw the uh, the um, red going on the, 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 the monitor. Everything is good. Everything is good? Yeah, everything is good. Uh, so we're going to do one more quick song, but before that, uh, one of the things we had a really, really fun time doing a couple years ago now is starring and composing in a feature film called Things I Do for Money. And that was been concurrently with repping and with school and all that kind of stuff and probably one of the best examples of how to sort of manage time in between your kind of side passions and this and that. Uh, but this movie, it's a crime thriller. Uh, we're, we star in it, we do acting, we do the composing, and it's, a, uh, um, it's on Crave TV, it's on Apple TV, 
uh, and uh, hope that you get a chance to check it out. You can follow us on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, whatever. Uh, and we had a lot of fun playing with you today. So, ah, we have plenty of time for one more. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we're not going to play this one at double speed. Yeah. <laughs> this is essentially what we're not going to do. Um, anyway, uh, thank you again so much. Uh, and thank you to, to everyone helping to organize this. This has been a lot of fun. Yeah. Welcome to the jungle. Let's finish it off. Take care.